What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I found a new special undisclosed location because we have a very, very special vehicle. This is the all new, the return. This is a 2021 Toyota Venza. And guess what? Toyota really spoiled Rady's Rides and you guys because we have the fully loaded limited trim. But before we dive into this new Venza, let's talk a little bit of history about this vehicle. So the Venza first hit the scene back in 2008. It was a new alternative for people looking for a crossover SUV. It was sold until 2015 and since then has been absent from their lineup. Now with this new Venza, the great news is, is that it's available one way and one way only. That's a hybrid. And what that means is you're going to get awesome fuel saving capability, but you're also getting all wheel drive in your Venza. There's three different trims. Limited, like I said, is going to be that top trim, some new technology, and definitely a new wrapper that makes it very, very attractive. So let's go ahead, dive into the new 2021 Toyota Venza and see, is the return worth celebrating? Right off the bat, I'm noticing a blending in the design philosophy between Toyota and its premium brand Lexus, and you could really see it with this 2021 Venza. All fresh styling, really love the LED daytime running lamps, which we have illuminated, LED headlights, LED turn singles, really super clean. We drop our way down, you're gonna have a functional side air curtain. Look at the beautiful lines that they instituted in the front of this. Now remember, being a hybrid, getting great fuel economy, you don't have to get a car that looks like a science project. It could have a nice shape. And what's interesting is with this hybrid Venza, this is the 20 year anniversary of the Prius, which really was that top selling and has been that top selling hybrid for Toyota 20 years ago, if you could believe that. But I love all the design work here. Some flat black, which looks great. I'm glad they didn't do a bunch of gloss. And then as we come across the front grill area, even more so, you're seeing a lot of Lexus identity. And that's not a bad thing. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, where does this fall in their lineup? This falls smack dab in the center between the RAV4 and the larger Toyota Highlander, but you can see that hybrid badge, that Toyota hybrid badge. I like some of this design element that they put into this upper grille area. All open, a little bit of it blocked off, obviously for aerodynamic reasons, but then as you drop down that chrome trim, very, very tasteful, and the rest of it is all functional as well with the flat black, which I think is gonna age well over time. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much ground clearance is there? You're looking at a little over seven inches, about 7.6 inches of ground clearance. Give you enough room between what you're riding on, what you're driving on, and your beautiful Venza. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you can see the beautiful body lines. Everything has a nice flow to it. Just two simple lines, though, on the hood, going towards the A pillar on each side. And I think that's all you need. Look at the height difference we kind of rising up as we go towards that bold line that goes towards the apo now this is sitting on of course the tnga uh, global architecture this is the k platform really nice with the dimensions and overall size now as we come around the bend you can see how the headlight housing with those led daytime running lamps flows nicely into the fender we drop down on this hot on this limited trim this is your wheel option so you're looking at a 19 inch wheel 225 on the width, 55 series sidewall. I love the multi-spoke design and that polished look really pops nicely with the particular color that we have. This thing is sparkling like a ruby in the Florida sun. Tasteful hybrid badge. I'm glad they didn't put it any lower. It looks great there, super clean with a little bit of blue because this is a hybrid. Color matched on your mirror caps, a little bit of flat black. You have your LED turn signals with some chrome built into those mirrors. Up top, we have a whole new piece of technology. It's not a sunroof. What it is, it's called Stargaze. It's using technology where you could have it be opaque or clear. And we'll get to that in a second when we get to the interior, but that's a first on this Toyota Venza. I like the nice chrome trim along the top and the bottom. Gives it a good, clean, cohesive look. Along the side, we have just some flat black on that lower sill. Doesn't come up too high. Toyota loves putting their all-wheel drive badge down here. I, I'm gonna zonk that. I, I 
for some reason it just looks like it's tacked on but the great news is you do have all-wheel drive on this Venza because there's electric motors out front and one electric motor out back nice rounded belt line really really smooth coming into the quarter uh, of the vehicle and then this rear pillar the way they have this nice triangular uh, quarter window and into that rear, rear pillar, nice flow. You can see how far the low roof spoiler extends off the back of the vehicle. They have a little bit of gloss black to provide more aerodynamic efficiency. Up top, we have that sparkling shark fin antenna. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, really, really unique design. It's interesting because when I first saw this, when we did the virtual unveil on Rady's Rides, I was a little confused. I thought it would get too mixed in with the RAV4, but this has a nice, unique look. It's like that luxury style hybrid uh, midsize SUV. LED on your uh, brake lights up here. You can see how the housing extends out. Like I said, limited with the hybrid badge, super clean. Look at just the nice float. Very, very unique. There's not another hybrid SUV that has this kind of sculpted design. Tasteful on the Venza, Venza badge, very prominent badge. People who own Venzas from the past, they love it. And I think they're really gonna love this one. Now, as we drop down, you do have your LED turn signals mounting kind of low. To me, I'd rather have them up top. So that's a zonk, but it makes it super clean. And that's what allowed them to have such a thin uh, tail light up there. The chrome trim is tasteful. The flat black matches all the way around. And then you have your two exhausts, one exhaust on each side, little bit of a slash cut. I know in a hybrid it doesn't really make sense, but I do like the look of it. So that's great news. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this all new Venza. All right, guys, we do have the hood popped up. You can see we do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to the passenger side. Underneath that hood should be something very familiar, especially if you've seen our Toyota RAV4 hybrid vehicles. That is that naturally aspirated 2.5 liter inline four when you're looking at what is it connected, it's connected to two electric motors up front, one electric motor out back, giving us a combined 219 horsepower. It is containing a lithium ion battery. So underneath the rear passenger seat is a lithium ion battery. You do have, like I mentioned before, the electric on demand, all wheel drive, 100% up front, but it can transfer up to 80% to the rear. The vehicle weighs on the limited trim 3,913 pounds. It's got a 14.5 fuel tank. Here comes the big winning news, MPGs. 40 combined, 30 in the city, 39 the highway. And if you're the type of person that's been a little reluctant about buying a hybrid because you're concerned about the life of the lithium ion battery, what I love about Toyota is that they give you a 10 year, 150 thousand mile warranty on that battery to kind of take care of any of that. Now, other good news is you do have selectable regenerative braking on this vehicle. So what that means is, is that that's going to help recharge that lithium ion battery. It also helps with slowing the vehicle down. And it's nice that you could actually select how much braking the regenerative braking gives you. But why don't we go ahead? We talked about this great fuel sipping technology underneath the hood. Let's go ahead and get to that interior and see the new tech the 2021 VN Venza brings to the table. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Venza. I know you're saying to yourself, wow, Joe, this thing looks sharp. I'm telling you, it's true. It does look sharp, and people have been confusing it for Lexus. People have come up to me in store parking lots and like, wow, is that a new Lexus? And when I tell them, hey, it's the Venza, they're, they're excited. Now, I know you're probably asking yourself, well, Joe, how much is it? I know you said there's three different trim levels, which there are, LE, XLE, and this limited trim. That information will be unveiled on July 22nd because of an embargo on the information set by Toyota. Also, on July 22nd, you'll get the driving impressions. I wanted to make sure that we brought it to you now, this overview, so that you knew exactly what that 2021 Venz is bringing to the table. So mark your calendar set your watch, get your uh, sundial out, get an abacus out, July 22nd, you'll have all the pricing and driving impressions. But let's see what you're getting in the new Venza. I love the door panels. 
The attention to detail is Lexus attention to detail. All soft touch material. Look at the beautiful stitch work, that kind of like stone gray trim there with the silver. Even what they're doing with the controls for your switch gear. They did a great job. No gloss black, no flat black. Very, very tasteful, super soft. Now, as you drop down, you do have a smaller door pocket. So you might only be able to get a couple tacos from Taco Bell and a can of soda in there. But look at how they put the Venza trim on the speaker cover there. Really, really nice setup. As we go from the door panel to the dash, you can see the multi-level elements, the stitch work, the silver around the AC vents are great. Soft touch everywhere. And then look at what we got here. You get lots of technology. So this is a limited trim, 12.3 infotainment system screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can see that you could access your AC controls. We have our navigation. Like I said, total touch screen, real easy to navigate through, especially when you're able to just push things. And look at how I brought the AC controls over to me. You can send them back over to your uh, passenger very, very easily. We get into our map here. I just gave away our undisclosed location, so shame on me. But just a, a, a joy to use, very nicely set up. Now, if you're wondering, well, what is the standard size screen? Is an eight inch screen. So we, like I said, we're spoiled. We have the 12.3 uh, inch screen. I could hit here, you can get your seat controls, ventilated seats and heated seats. And what's great is, is that the ventilated seats, actually it's the air conditioning running through the seats. So you're gonna get very, very nice, cool seats. We could go back like that, send it back over the other side. We drop down a little bit of silver. Now the only gloss black is below the 12.3 inch screen. They integrated the AC vents very clean. This is where the gloss black is. It's also where you're gonna be pushing. So to go home, here's our home button here, and you can see how it functions through pressing that. Let me throw it into reverse real quick, show off our backup camera. So trajectory it's a little grainy but you do have 360 over there which is a nice touch i'll put it back in the park we'll drop back down but you have all your ac controls right here radio controls easy to get to no volume knob so i don't know how you feel about that they put the power on button nicely in this little cubby area there's really no room next to the steering column deep down inside there you have wireless charging you also have a little door that has, and I'm gonna put this in a drive to get it out of the way so Crown Vic could show you what's going on. You got two USBs, you got an aux jack, and you got wireless charging pad in there. Electric e-brake. I do like the way this slides in here. Very, very nice and clean. You have your different drive modes, which I'll show you that when we get to the business end. You also have full EV mode for slow speed driving. Obviously, you can only do that for a certain distance. I'll put this back in the park. You can have simulated shifting by going up and back on the actual shifter itself. But I love all the nice soft touch material. The stitch work is great. Even the way they brought that trim from the door panel on the inside here, very, very tasteful. Two cup holders. And then you have your seat controls. If you don't wanna go in the screen, you have your heated and ventilated seats here. Very, very soft touch with the stitch work. We open this up and look at this. You got a party tray and then you have enough room in there for at least 16 Twinkies and there's a 12 volt. So that's another nice touch. Let me show you something. So you could put your bottle in here. Let's say you have a shorter bottle. You take this little guy, you put in there, now it's up higher. So kind of cool the way they have a variety of technology and just things, Toyota wants to make your life easier. And I like that. Let me get that out of the way. We'll put that back over here. Key fob, where's the key fob? Oh, let me show you the key fob for the new Venza. I'm gonna dig it out of my pocket here. So here's your stylish key fob says Venza on it. I don't know if I'm getting that shine there. And then you've spin it around. You have your Toyota hybrid badge. You have your panic button. You could pop the rear hatch and then you have lock and unlock. Still a little on the plastic side, but better than what I've seen from Toyota on other models. So that's a nice touch. Seats. Let's talk about this. Look at the stitch work. Look at the design. Now, if you're wondering, well, what is that material called? It's actually that soft text material. Really love the bolstering, super soft, very nicely set up, and really adjustable, perfect for your passenger. This does have the JBL, also the JBL sound system. That's a nine speaker premium sound system. 
Let's look at Crown Vic. There's Crown Vic there with his do-rag. Let's make Crown Vic disappear. So you do have that beautiful digital rear view mirror, super clear. You can see the cars, look at that. It's like watching, watching TV. Whoa, they almost crashed. Look at that, ah, gotcha. And then it turns back into a mirror, which is nice. And then here's the newest thing. It's called Stargaze. It's available on the limited trim. If you look up top, you'll notice our panoramic uh, style glass roof, it's opaque. No, not much sun is coming through. I hit a button, boom. Now you got full clear glass, which is really wonderful. You wanna see it change again? It's magic. So obviously there's electrically charged particles that you're able to control by the press of a button. On and opaque. Now if you're wondering, well, oh, it, I still see the sun, there's still light coming in, even though it's opaque, you also do have a shade that you could close as well and just to prove it. It's really fast too. I mean, I've never seen a sunshade slide that quickly. So there you go. Now everything's hidden. You hit it again. You gotta hold it. You gotta just top the button. Now it slides back. And you're ready to rock and roll. That's technology that I've only seen on a McLaren. A McLaren 720S. It's on the Venza. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this 2021 Venza. All right, guys. Business time. Now on the door panel, besides all this wonderful soft touch material, you do have two memory seat settings, which is a very nice touch. And then down below, I love this aluminum trim and then that Venza badge lights up at night. And there's also a little bit of ambient lighting too in the Venza. You have your seat controls, easy to get to, nice full power. Steering wheel is basically gonna be the same steering wheel you see in a lot of Toyota vehicles. I wish they would have done something a little bit different. Simple on the horn button. I don't really like this black piece of plastic that they put here, so I'm gonna zonk that, but I do like the flat black. You do have the Sensing 2.0, Toyota Sensing 2.0, so you have the pedestrian alert, you have emergency braking, all that good stuff. This does have an electric tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is great. You also have, which you can't see, a beautiful head-up display, which is great. And then you'll notice the, the dash, very, very simple, very straightforward. So on the left is all your power, your eco, your charge, all that good stuff. You got your coolant temp gauge. You have a seven inch display in the center where you can go through a series of different information. Let me get this out of the way so I could show you going through that. Very, very easy to do. Look at that, it shows our uh, energy monitor there. Nice, lane keep assist, of course. And then overall, you have your, on the other side, your speedometer and your fuel gauge, but very, very clean, very, very simple. Oh, almost forgot, Crown Vic has to go back. We have the drive modes. So when you're looking in that little display center there, which I've, I know I just probably challenged him with focus and everything, but you have sport, normal, and eco modes. So nice to have those different drive modes. And then you have full EV as well, which is great. So overall, lots of flexibility in whatever type of driving that you're gonna do. July 22nd, stay tuned, because we are gonna drive this, obviously, because how did I get it here? But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see how much room your passengers have in the all new Venza. All right, guys, back seat time. The great news right off the bat is that you're not compromising room back here, which I don't know how Toyota did it, but they did it, and they did it in a great way. You have that beautiful, like we point out, the Stargaze panoramic roof, glass roof, and the lithium-ion batteries underneath the seat, but there's still plenty of room back here. Remember, I'm six feet tall. I've had plenty of room this whole journey so far. Backs of the seats, that soft text material, real nice. You have a good-sized pocket. You could get maybe a couple books about Nikola Tesla or Thomas Edison and drop it in there. You have your rear AC vents and they do have you covered as well with two USBs located down below. I have my own book over here. Maybe I'll put a book. I'm, I'm actually reading a book right now about Lee Iacocca. So maybe I could store that there. Pull this guy down. Nice, soft, two cup holders. Beautiful on the uh, perforated material that they have. This soft text material is really, really great. Why don't we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how much room you have in the 2021 Venza. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area on the all new Venza. Great news is we have a limited trim, so that means hands-free operation. You're just gonna take your foot and kind of swipe it. There's a sensor underneath there. After a couple seconds, opens up, and now you can get your bags that you've been holding on to. The great news is, is that you have a very large opening. It's got plenty of height. You have your security shade, obviously, that you could pull back. I like how flat the floor is. We have our 
subwoofer, that JBL subwoofer. Remember, that's a nine speaker system. You really shake your Venza, rocking out to your favorite songs. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much room do we have? You're looking at well over 36 cubic feet of space. And then the great news is, is you want more, you get more. You just lift up and you push. And I'm gonna come around on this side. You just lift up and you push. Pretty flat, obviously, not totally flat, but still maximizing the space. And then here's really the cherry on top. Lift this up, which first of all, look at this little nice little lift tag that they have here. It actually has the same beautiful stitch work as your seats. You lift up, you got a nice size spare and plenty of room for emergency Twinkies, Zingers, cupcakes, even fruit pies so that nobody gets hangry on your trip. Because remember, with the awesome hybrid technology in this, you're not going to be stopping very often for those roadside snacks. But it's that time where we got to wrap things up. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap up this 2021 Venza review. All right, guys, I am so glad that we had the opportunity to bring you this Venza now. Stay tuned, July 22nd, we're gonna do another separate review with the driving impressions and also the pricing. But I definitely gotta thank Zach and Corey over at Toyota USA for allowing Radies Rides not only access to the new Venza, but they gave us a fully loaded one to really show off some of that fun technology. It really shows the direction that Toyota is going in. And guess what? They have more hybrid vehicles in their lineup than any other brand. And with this Venza, I think it really fits in nicely in between the RAV4 and the bigger Toyota Highlander. But if it's new SUVs like these that you can't even get yet at the dealership, they won't be available until late August going into September. If you want to keep seeing these types of things on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to, we know him, the king with his crown, Crown Vic, king of photography, getting this Venza, all the angles on camera for you. Thank you, Victor, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.